Hey guys, so today I'm coming at you with a little bit of a different type of video. As you can tell from the title, this one's going to be a little more serious than other videos that I've filmed on my channel so far. And this is going to be about my acne journey. So most of you probably don't know, um, but I've been dealing with pretty severe acne for the past almost a year now. And I wanted to make sure that I did this video without makeup since I am going to be talking about my skin. I feel like that's very important. And I kind of just wanted to cut all the BS and all the makeup and the hair and the setup and the outfit and just be real with you guys for a second because this is a struggle that I've been dealing with and it has affected my life um, a lot the past year. I just wanted to kind of tell you about my struggle and about how I've been clearing my acne and the things that I've done that have made it better, um, what made it worse, kind of the whole gist of the situation. So first I guess we'll start off with the history of my acne, um, like how it was growing up and how it's also been up until this year that it's broken out pretty severely. So growing up, um, I dealt with some breakouts. It was nothing serious. It was pretty much like any other teenager going through puberty. I did have some breakouts. I went to a dermatologist once and I think they prescribed me um, Epiduo or I don't know if Epiduo was out at that time, but it was something similar to Epiduo and it pretty much helped me. Um, I didn't really go to another dermatologist again um, up until this past year. So it was never severe like it's been so far. This was definitely very out of the ordinary for me. Now I guess we will get into the start of my severe acne. So it's only been going on for about the past year or so and it's progressively gotten worse and worse and worse um, to the point where it was awful at one point. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and insert some pictures right here. I've kind of taken pictures of my face throughout this whole process because I know that at some point I was going to want to document it. I wasn't ready when I was going through it by any means. Um, but now that my skin has cleared up pretty much completely, um, I don't know if I've mentioned that yet, but my skin is pretty much completely clear. Whatever is left on my face is just scarring or hyperpigmentation. Um, so I only have a few tiny little breakouts like in this section of my face. But other than that, my skin has completely cleared up. So as you can see, my acne was pretty bad at one point. I know that everyone is always shocked when I show them those pictures, especially people that know me, um, like family and friends. Um, they're, they just can't believe how bad it was at one point. And same with me. When I look back on those pictures, I just honestly, like it doesn't even look like me. Like I just can't even believe it. So that was the progression of my acne and I'm going to kind of get into a few reasons of why I think it got to that point. Um, so I guess we'll just go ahead and start from the beginning. Um, so for the past year I've been dealing with a lot of stuff in my personal life and it caused a lot of stress on me so naturally my skin started breaking out a little bit more um, in the beginning of that year just due to stress. Um, and I also graduated college in August of that year and got my first like, big girl job, um, which was in New York City. I don't know if I've mentioned that on my channel yet, but I did move to New York City in August, at the end of August. So in about September of last year, I went through a pretty traumatic thing in my personal life. So my acne did start flaring up a little bit more um, as the days went on. And also, as I was getting deeper into my job, it was getting more stressful and more stressful and more stressful as time went on. Um, and it turned out to be an extremely, extremely high stress job that I was not expecting. Um, I mean, that definitely is something that contributed to the severity of my acne. So the traumatic experience in my personal life 
combined with the high stress job I was at really is what made my skin just completely freak out like ever before. And I wasn't just stressed like in my personal life, in my work life, but also in my home life. I was living in a one bedroom apartment by myself in Queens actually. Um, and I was dealing with a bed bug infestation for about three to four months. So that is another thing that contributed to the daily stress that I was going through. So I was stressed at home, I was stressed at work, I was stressed in my personal life. So all around, that is what contributed to my skin just completely flaring up and freaking out. So I finally decided to go to a dermatologist in New York. I put it off for a really long time just because it was hard for me to step out from work um, for an hour, an hour and a half appointment. So I did put it off for a very long time, but I finally decided to go in December. I believe it was at the beginning of December, I went to a dermatologist. Um, and through the course of this time, I've been to about three dermatologists now, um, just in the past year. So I went to my first dermatologist in December, and he prescribed to me a pill, which was doxycycline if I'm saying that correctly. So it prescribed me Tazerac, which is just a medicated cream that I would put all over my face, and also another benzoyl peroxide cream that I was applying to my face daily. Um, so I was taking a pill and two creams, um, and that was, I was doing that for about a month. Um, and it was, it was fine, I mean, it was working okay. I wasn't seeing like crazy results, but it was clearing up a little bit. Um, so I stayed with that regimen for about a month and I also switched up my skincare routine. I switched to a completely like gentle um, skincare regimen. I was using mostly all CeraVe products, but yeah, that is what I was doing along with the pill and the two creams and it was fine. For a while. I ended up going back to that same dermatologist after about a month um, and I had seen an, a little bit of a difference so um, I went back to him and he decided to switch up my regimen a little bit and he so he switched me to minocycline which is a different pill um, so I was taking that and he also gave me a different version of the Tazerac cream like a higher concentrated Tazerac, so I was doing that, and then everything else was the same. But what I really decided to do was take a step back, kind of from my life, I guess you could say, and kind of reevaluate what I was doing, because the situation I was in, like, the consequences of it, I could see it all over my body. And so I really took a step back and thought about what I wanted to do with my life and if this is a situation that I wanted to stay in. Um, so I ended up deciding to leave my job in New York and I moved back to Washington State, which I don't know if you guys know that, but I lived in Washington State in middle school and also a little bit of high school. Um, so I ended up quitting my job, and which is pretty crazy. I have no idea how afraid I was to quit my first job out of college, but I just, I was not happy in it. It was an awesome opportunity, and it was an awesome company, I worked with awesome people, but I wasn't happy, I wasn't being fulfilled, and I knew it wasn't for me, so why stay any longer when you know that's not what you want to be doing with the rest of your life, and especially when it's causing you health problems. I mean, I wouldn't say my job was causing my health problems, but it was definitely contributing to the nature of my skin. So I ended up leaving my job and ever since I left my job and I moved out of New York, my skin transformed. And actually before I decided to move out of New York, I also made a few lifestyle changes too, just to kind of see. I was pretty much trying to do whatever I could to try to help my skin. So I cut out drinking. I was not drinking any alcohol. Um, I cleaned up my diet, um, so I was really trying to eat nutritious foods and cut out all of the junk so I wasn't eating any like pizza or fast food or Mexican food. I was just trying to eat really clean to try to cleanse my body of all the junk pretty much. Another thing that I was doing 
was I was drinking a lot more water just because water is good for you and I mean you can never drink too much water well I guess you can drink too much water but I was trying to drink a gallon a day which I wasn't always successful at but I was trying to those three simple lifestyle changes along with removing myself from a bad situation in my life are honestly what transformed my skin and it slowly started getting better and better and better to the point of now where I pretty much have little to no breakouts on my skin whatsoever. Yes, I am dealing with a pretty good amount of scarring on the sides of my face, but that's something I can deal with. I mean, that's why we have makeup, right? So that's pretty much what I did um, to kind of help my skin. I'm not recommending any um, of these tips to you guys because everyone's skin is so different. I just wanted to make sure that I made this video for you guys because this honestly was one of the hardest years of my entire life. No one really understands how um, like hard it is to deal with severe acne and how rough it is on your self-esteem and your self-worth. You know, when I was going through this, I didn't want to leave my house. I didn't want to go out on the weekends. I didn't want to hang out with friends. I didn't want to do anything where anyone would see my acne. Because you can just feel it when someone's staring at your acne. And you can tell for sure. And I felt like any time I was talking to someone, all they could focus on was my acne and my skin and how rough it looked. I could just tell that that was all people were looking at and I know people always say, say that and people always think that everyone else is looking at their flaws but when you have severe acne you know that people are looking at it because I mean it's just right there like how can they not look at it so it's just honestly so rough on a person when they're dealing with this and my heart goes out to anyone who is dealing with severe cystic acne right now because trust me I know how difficult it is I know how hard it is on your self-esteem but you will get through it I'm living proof that you will get through it and you will beat it but it does scare me because now that I know that my skin is capable of this um, I'm scared that it could happen again because I never knew that my skin was capable of getting this bad um, but now that I know it can it definitely can get this bad um, I want to make sure I do everything I can just to make sure it does it. So I'm really trying to take really good care of my skin. I'm trying to use products that are going to be beneficial for my skin. Um, I'm trying getting facials and seeing if that helps. Um, because your skin really is like, it's everything. And I feel so lucky that I can go out now without makeup and not feel extremely self-conscious. I mean, granted, I do still feel self-conscious just because I do have a lot of scarring on my face. Um, but it's nothing like it was and I'm so grateful that my skin finally cleared up. So if you guys have any questions about any of the products I used or just about any of my acne journey in general, um, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you guys want me to do a skincare routine showing you guys the products I was using then and the products I'm also using now um, to kind of maintain my skin, then definitely let me know. I would love to do that for you. Anything I can do to help, please let me know. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.